Yes, good evening YouTube. So I did a couple of videos on this Turnigy AccuCell 8150. It's their 150 watt 8 cell battery charger. There's all the lithium, nickel metal hydride, NICAD, and lead acid up to 36 volts. One thing I was curious about is how much power this thing takes because I've been running this off my solar battery bank and sometimes I run these chargers overnight just sitting idle here. I've got 12.8 volts on my power supply and it's pulling 100 milliamps so that's about 1.3 watts. Let me do a discharge. We'll swing up and we can look at the power supply so you can see that set up. Okay, there's my bench supply. So I've got it set on a 1 amp 1S lithium discharge. So I'm going to start that up. It about doubles the power. That's probably due to the fan running. So it's now pulling 200 milliamps approximately, maybe two and a half watts of power. And let me stop that and we'll switch over to a one amp charge. So this is one amp on a single cell. So let's go enter. It's doing the battery check and we start. So one, two tenths, three, half, point seven, eight, nine, one amp. So the charger is taking about half an amp at 12 volts. So that's taking about six or seven watts there. And we're putting about 3.8 watts into the battery. So the battery is at 3.82 at 1 amp. Let me stop and then let me switch here. I'll put in a 4S pack and we'll see how much power that takes. Okay, I got my 4S pack plugged in and I'll show you what that looks like in a second. But now I want to charge that. Let's go enter. Yeah, I don't know if my power supply will handle that or not. There, the fan kicked on. We're at 1 amp and about 14.8 volts. And it's taking about 1.5 amps at 12.8. Okay, so just ran some numbers. This is about 19 watts of power right there. And the battery right now is just at 15 volts. It's 14.94 at 1 amp. So call it 15 watts going into the battery. So we're about 79% efficient on the, the charger. And let me show you my setup here. I'll show you how I have my uh, 4S pack set up here. Yeah, kind of hard to get everything in the picture here, but this is my little 4S charging adapter here. So this is a completed one. I have the, if you turn it around like this, I've got the Dean's plug down here feeding power, the charging output. Then I've got my six pin JST connector. I'm only using five of the pins for a 4S. Also using a a 5S balance cable, but if you only hook up the first four, it's a 4S cable. So you can see I have the uh, balance cable over here coming out of the battery pack, running into the back of the charger, and then I have my charging output going to the Dean's plug, and then I can just plug in four batteries there. You can see it's got all four voltages there, different voltages on the battery. Now if I stop and let's say I only wanted to charge three packs, so these are actually double packs out of laptop battery, and maybe I just had three cells to charge. So what I can do is plug in my dummy cell there and then I'm gonna go here. Let's see, I'm gonna do a charge and this time I want to do 3S. So battery check, 3 series. It picked up the right value there. I think that's showing up there. But you can see now I've got just 3S. So I've got three actual cells and then I've got one dummy in there. And the nice thing is I just leave everything plugged in. I don't have to switch 
balance leads. I don't have to switch the power leads. I just plug in as many batteries starting from one, two, three, or four, and then fill everything that I don't have batteries in with, with dummy cells. So I can put in one of those, two of those, as I need to, and that gives me a pretty nice setup. Yeah, maybe I'll show you this when I get uh, get working on finishing up this one. I'll show you the actual detailed uh, wiring on this. Yeah, I hope you found that interesting. I had never known how much power these actually takes. So there's roughly three to four watts of uh, power to run the charger, the display, the fan. Yeah, if you have any questions, uh, post that up in the comment section below. If you found the video interesting, give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.